Welcome to Lesson 1, Color and Color Theory. The goal of Lesson 1 is to learn color is one of the elements of art and to have it significantly help retain the other elements and principles. If teachers suspect the reason students cannot retain the declarative information is it is boring, from whence is it boring? Perhaps today, in the 21st century, a student can be cognitively oblivious to something from 1666 A.D. This lesson is based on the theory determining the present use of color information and having it articulated for use in today's world could make all the difference. It will put color learning tenacity on track. This is what I hope will happen for learners in learning from this video series lesson on color and color theory. Warm colors range from red to yellow, essentially the half of the color wheel corresponding to the longer wavelengths. Warm colors are active, attention-grabbing, and aggressive. They stimulate the emotions, motivate, and seem to come forward off the screen or page. Cool colors range from blue to violet, the half of the color wheel with shorter wavelengths. Cool colors have a calming effect. They are frequently used for backgrounds to set off smaller areas of warm color. You may be responsible for art terminology on the test. Color characteristics. Complementary colors are directly facing each other on the color wheel. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. Saturation is the purity of a color. Achromatic is no color or use of black, white, and shades of gray to represent colors. Split complementary colors lie on either side of a complementary color. Monochromatic color is unique in the same hue. Analogous colors are side-by-side -side colors of similar shades. Triadic colors are cyan, magenta, yellow, and also other color schemes that triangular points on the color wheel can be triadic. Elements and principles. The elements of art are the components of a composition organized into an artwork. The principles of visual art are the guidelines to organize the elements of an artwork. Visual art procedural and declarative knowledge is taught to teach the elements of art of the basic properties of an artwork. The basic properties are organized into a composition. Elements of art are organized in an artwork and the organization is referred to as the principles of art. In reverse, the principles of visual art are the guidelines artists use to organize the elements of art in an artwork. When combined successfully, they create an aesthetically enjoyable work of art. Color history's beginning. Isaac Newton bent the spectrum into a circle. He discovered there are seven main colors. Each color is monochromatic, meaning each color is composed of a single wavelength that cannot be further separated into other colors. Newton discovered this in 1666 A.D. by passing a beam of light through a prism. Newton's main colors were red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Now, however, the classical color theory lesson is from 1666 A.D. and learning it might have seemed old and redundant. Yet, it is displayed by the World Wide Web, made of its own mock-up language every day. If momentarily it should be seen as never before, was there, it's evolving quite like this. It is because of technology. Perhaps now it really can be seen as the rebirth of color theory. Although the technology lesson will explain web color theory evolved down from sure Isaac Newton's 1666 A.D. Prism Theory, it will help students retain a declarative knowledge of art information on the elements of art and principles of design. The technology of our 21st century art lesson showing how useful the relevant means of color in relation to technology of this century will 
got the update it richly deserves. Until 64 years ago, there was not a personal media screen technology or until television came out in 1950. Now, thanks to this short, colorful lesson on the element color, which was awakened anew by television and then monitor technology, the declarative knowledge on color will feel fresh from space and color information will have made a 348-year sojourn. As well, it evolved into the right to rebirth, the right to be called web color theory. There will be more on color history later in the series. The following color update assignment helps learn because it is teaching where learners should be. Explaining color by 21st century technology and web display use helps learners understand why to accomplish this task. The course objectives are to strengthen entry level skill sets meaning both grade level and career entry level, and to learn the elements and principles of art. The task ultimately is to retain the elements and principles of art. Colors have three main attributes, hue, saturation, and brightness. Hue refers to the colors, family, or color name, red, green, purple, blue, etc., and is directly related to the wavelength. Saturation, or chroma, is the amount of purity a color has, referring to how crisp or dull it appears. Brightness, or luminous, or value, is the shade, darkness, or tint, lightness of the color. Assignment. Your assignment is to create a gradating color strip from one hue, gradating the color on approximately 15 to 20 uniform pieces of poster board by adding white to one main color. It is your choice whether the gradation goes from hue to white or black. More than one color is allowed, but no more than two as long as the gradations flow logically. Keep the flow. Flow into and out of your colors. Your poster board pieces need not be larger than two inches square because your project will be easier to photograph or scan. See the screen for the materials needed. Directions. Follow logical gradation. If you use black, logically flow into your hue shade to begin your hue into luminous bright or tint and white. You may do a grayscale black to white strip if you wish. Color names. There are 141 color names identified in the HTML and CSS color specification comprised of the 17 standard plus 124 more. On the screen you see a slide of the standard ones. These can be used in HTML coding by a designer in my view of the hex value preceded by the number symbol. However, you are to use the hex values. There are several good color charts around on the web. Use your favorite or search for one. Thus, in order to switch over to modern day color theory, you will do a modern type of assignment. Change your color strip to RGB hex value gradation for the viewing on the web by finding the matching hex value for each one of the painted pieces of your color strip. Once you have found all 15 to 20 hex values corresponding to your pieces, you will put them into HTML page format. Use any style font you like. The text should create a short story on your favorite holiday. 15 to 20 sentences is not a long story. Be creative with font, but use no more than three. Professionally, you would not ever use more than three. It would be hard for web designers to compare colors using color names to build gradating color. So use the hex value code to find the flowing colors. See on the screen the difference between name color and hex color. The colors on the left are coded by names. The colors parallel are hex value coded. The numeric range for colors is much greater and any color can be produced to match or improve a color. See how for the colored turquoise, the code 
looks different than the same hex value coded color written turquoise. Look at green. Name color would have left no choice but for designers who wanted the color green to select the shade made by the name color green. On the screen, you see a screenshot of gradated text that says, You look like a meadow in summer. It appears almost seamless from one color to the next. Hue, saturation, and brightness are the attributes of color. Hue refers to the color family name. Although there are literally millions of colors, there are only a few color families. Every color is described in terms of its three attributes, hue, saturation, and brightness. Color name, such as blue, is hue. Hue is related to the color's wavelength. All electromagnetic energy is light and human can only see a small portion of this radiation. That portion is called visible light. The colors separate because each color has a different wavelength, so when the visible spectrum travels through a prism, the colors separate into the colors of the rainbow. Violet has the shortest wavelength and red the longest. Wavelengths are measured in nanometers. Each color is refracting at a slightly different angle depending on wavelength. Our eyes, cone-shaped cells are receivers tuned to wavelengths in the narrow band of the spectrum. The spectrum's wavelengths are too large or small and energetic for the biological limitations of our perception. Saturation is the measure of purity of a color, meaning how sharp or dull the color appears. Saturation is also called chroma. Brightness is the darkness or lightness, shade or tint of a color. As we know, evenly colored areas of an object in direct light have higher brightness than areas in shadow. Brightness is also called luminance or value. Again, see the screen for the materials needed. Alternatively, a book on color code can be found at the library. Exchange the painted poster board pieces for identical color hex values. Put them into HTML using the code given near the end of this lesson. Look up groovy fonts to use. Use them creatively as much as you like, but describe in your text your favorite family holiday. This assignment satisfies the multiple ways your artwork connects with the learning environment. The assignment facilitates connecting with and learning about your classmates and other cultures when we post the stories to the web page. or a web page. Use the format on the video screen if you do not know HTML. Instead of your story title between the title tags, please put your name and put the title of your story in the body. If you know CSS, animation, or JavaScript, you know the head tags are where the programmers and designers place the style sheet in JavaScript. You are free to demonstrate anything you know to your page. The story is the text between the font tags of each line or per who. Each, who. each hex value or who has a beginning font and a font tag anchor. For example, on progressive color lookup artwork by artist Laura Aboreal Isis. Her artwork was painted using gradated colors of progressive hues. On the screen, you see a basic HTML code and you see links. The links are to two suggested color chart sites and one free or donation font site. Use these or your own favorites. Thank you. 
See you in lesson two on the color models.